Well, here's my next uh, old radio project, restoration project. This is a Stromberg Carlson model uh, 130H from 1936. I do have the schematic here already printed out. It's always good to have that. I got this from uh, my good friend Al, who's already given me four pre-war radios, which I've already restored and done videos on each one of them. He's also given me some extra little test equipment, like that scope there. This old uh, classic Tektronix from uh, 1959. And a few more things. So, thanks Al again. Always appreciate all the... The uh, gifts, I think he's uh, cleaning out his basement and uh, getting rid of some of his collection. So I've been the happy recipient of many of those. So this guy it looks like it's in, uh, cabinet's in fairly decent shape. Uh, you know, some wear marks, but not bad for being that old. It does have a little chip right down here in the veneer. That's the only really bad spot. I love these wooden dials, especially this one here. You can see it's a kind of like a vernier type of thing where you know the outer knob makes just a small change and the inner knob makes a bigger change. And that's pretty cool. You get a range selection here with uh, color coded dots relating to each of the uh, color codes on the dial and on off tone right there. So this does AM broadcast band, what they called the police band back then. Uh, I don't know if anything's on it anymore. And then shortwave, which I can occasionally pick up a religious station on Sundays uh, from Pennsylvania, but that's about it. So let's look at the back here on this guy. Now, Al said it worked last time he had had it fired up, which I haven't done that yet but uh, I may put it on the dim bulb tester and see what happens it's pretty dusty uh, but pretty complete too so it'll be interesting to see how she fires up with the tube complement an old 80 rectifier tube and it's actually what it's a 465 kilohertz uh, IF instead of typical 455. Um, now it does have some uh, bad uh, grill cloth, which I have luckily found on uh, eBay, almost exact correct pattern. So I've placed an order for enough of that to go ahead and change out this behind the speaker and then this is nothing behind there just wood but so that's on the way and um, I don't think this thing's been touched underneath but we'll find out when I get it out of the out of the cabinet well I think I'll do a quick uh, pre-restoration test on this radio the friend that gave it to me said that it, it does work so I've got it hooked up to my isolation transformer, which goes to the Variac, which goes to the dim bulb tester with a 250-watt photo flood uh, bulb in it. I found that the 60-watt and 100-watt uh, just limit the current or limit the voltage too much. So this seems to work well for uh, radios. So let me flip this on. And see on the kilowatt we're getting 113 volts and uh, right about half a half an amp. And there we go. Moving closer to receiving the. So it does work. There we go, even before I've done anything to it, it is working. Pulled off all the knobs and took the screws out of the chassis and got the chassis out of the radio. So 
So really, really dusty. It's been in there a while. But it seems like all the old original screws, these uh, you know, haven't been replaced. Knobs are all in great shape. And uh, I think I found out why this radio is working so well. Take a look underneath. You can see uh, a bunch of new capacitors. So I don't know exactly when, but at some point this radio has already been recapped. So, good. Less work for me. Um, of course, I'll go check it. Um, check the capacitors, see if they're still good. Um, but yeah, it looks like somebody's been in here and uh, apparently done a pretty good job because it's working well. So this may be just a, a clean up, test the tubes, maybe a little bit of cabinet work and call it good. Alright, I pulled the uh, speaker out of the Stromberg Carlson radio and the uh, little fabric thing that was right there, this is it little piece of cardboard and it had this speaker um, fabric kind of glued on and there's the one that was covering the uh, speaker and you can see the color here is a little different than what I had bought as a replacement because I was only looking at this which this is just uh, faded out so this looks more like this but this is the original but I've got this so I'm going to use it I'm going to use like, uh, this glue here, put it around and uh, glue this piece on, see how it works. Okay, got those covered and they look pretty good. So I'll go ahead and install them back in the cabinet. Let's see how they look in there. Oh, and uh, today's IPA that we're trying out is uh, Sun Cups. West Coast IPA, and that's made uh, by the Front Royal Brewing Company. It's pretty good. It's good, good West Coast style IPA, which is kind of what I like. All right, back to the radio. Let's get these in here. Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did. There's no more holes in the fabric. Both sides match. Looking pretty good. Alright, I just uh, finished up this uh, Stromberg Carlson radio. This is a, uh, let's see, what is the model number here of this thing again? Model number 130, 130H from 1936. Um, and I didn't really have to recap the radio because it was already done. I did put new uh, grill cloth in and then um, uh, treated the cabinet, didn't refinish really it. I'm kind of, I go back and forth with cabinet refinishing. Sometimes you just need to, but I like to leave some of the little uh, marks, you know, that this is the original cabinet finish and it's been there since the 30s, so um, that's what I decided to do. And I did use this uh, Howard uh, Restore finish on it, the mahogany one, which is pretty close to that color, I think. And then after that, I put the Howard Feed and Wax. Um, beeswax uh, you know a polish on it made it look very nice and uh, it sounds really good handle it, as they've demonstrated they they've been so, able to uh, handle COVID-19 and start the recovery process. that's the end of this one so I'll have to put this uh, upstairs in a place where I can listen to it more often and uh, move on to the next one